So if you're using the GIMP tool, it looks like this to modify your and edit your images. Uh, there's a layers on the side, tools on the left, and in the middle is your canvas. Um, to start off with, you open the file you want to work with. So I open the Coco Chanel file, that's the one I want to modify to make a fragment for my partner to rebuild. And uh, we want to zoom in because we're going to rub out what we don't want and we want to do that really precisely. Uh, so there's a quick zoom in option down here, you know, 200 percent If you want to then do that step by step, you can go view and hitting the plus key works sometimes too. Zoom in. Great, I'll just leave it at that. You could carry on and be more precise. Um, I want a really chunky rubber, so when you get to the finer detail around the edges here, maybe when you want to make it really nice, you want a really thin rubber, so that's a 2.0, that'd be great. You can rub out almost pixel at a time. Uh, but I want quite a big one, so I'm going to just change the size of my eraser to 20 and then just quickly do this. You'd do this obviously a lot more carefully so you get exactly what you want. Just going to rub all of that out, I could even make it bigger. So I'm going to stop there, but you with your finer brush would rub out those last remaining bits. And then we just want to zoom in on the section that we want to have uh, in our GeoGebra file. So I'm going to go to the tools here and the select. I could use the lasso, but you end up with a rectangle anyway, which is a canvas, so you may as well go rectangle straight away. Uh, and the key thing is to look just below the bottom of this selection rectangle line, and you'll see the dimensions. It's 83 by 46. We need to retain those two numbers. So it's going to be 83 by 46. I'm going to Control C to copy that and open a new file. And in that, we said 83 by 46. So 83 by 46 was the size of that selection. Okay, I'm going to make that a bit bigger. You could close the window behind you, probably a good idea not to, just in case you make a mistake. And this is where we're now going to get rid of the background and make it transparent. So I go to Color, Color to Alpha. Uh, it gives me a preview of what that's going to look like. That's exactly what I want, yeah. Okay, hasn't happened, so let's do that again. Color, color to alpha. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd like to happen. Great, it's happened. And now we're going to have to export it. So I'm just going to go File and Export because um, the native file format for um, GIMP program is like XCMF. Can't, I'm not sure if that's exactly it, can't remember. Um, and we want PNG or JPEG, but for this we want PNG because then it will retain its transparency. So I'm just going to put that as a fragment there. Okay, great, yep. So I've saved it now when I press on the export. And then I go into my GeoGebra page. Third one along, I want to insert an image. Click anywhere, that's going to be the bottom left of my image and I'm going to use that fragment that we just designed. So that's how you'd make it um, using GIMP. Over to you, best of luck.